Susan, congratulations on being the recipient of this year's Harry Denman Award for the, for the conference. I'm so excited for you. Well deserving. You've done so many things for the local church and for the conference and for the community. I'm just going to highlight some of those things for you uh, just to offer uh, congratulations for all that you do. So we know that you're a certified lay servant, uh, but many people may not know that you uh, also teach on behalf of that community for the North Central District. Uh, you serve locally as the Administrative Council Chairperson. You're, our, you're the delegate to the uh, North Texas Annual Conference uh, from our church. You serve as a liturgist for our worship services here at Lake City's United Methodist Church. Uh, you lead the uh, services for uh, a local retirement home at Autumn Oaks. Um, you have helped our church in taking the lead for uh, raising funds uh, regarding our capital campaign that we had here just a couple of years ago. And thanks to your good effort, we were able to pay off uh, our, our loan on that in three years, which was really, really exciting. Um, you have uh, been a part of the late teaching committee for Perkins School of Theology and helping our interns. You have mentored many of our uh, associate pastors that we have had here. Uh, you lead the effort to go to Baldwin to support uh, UMCOR and its mission efforts. Uh, you're on the committee of the district superintendency. My goodness, you essentially do everything uh, <laughs> for the church in a variety of ways. You're on the Lake City's Chamber of Commerce. You've had uh, an amazing uh, presence here in the Lake City's area in so many different ways. So what I'd like to ask you is with all these things that you've been involved with and, and, and this wonderful witness of God's grace and only the way that you can do it, what has been your motive? What is, why do you do this for the church and for the community? Well, I guess if I had to put it in a nutshell, I believe in love. I love this church. I love the Lord. I love the ministries and the community. I love helping other people become better disciples of Christ. And I find lay servant ministries to be very rewarding, both to me and to the wonderful people I meet through lay servant ministries. And by teaching some of the courses that come along, I feel like I'm helping people all over our district as well as our conference because we are able to switch districts to take these courses. And they really help you know how to be a better disciple. And as far as this church is concerned, when there's something that needs to be done, my question is, why not me? If I have the ability or the talent to do something, then I think I need to do it. And I am always willing to step up to the plate to help out in any way I can. And my motivation, I suppose, would boil down to the love of Christ. And that seems to be very apparent in in your witness, and, you know, my impression of you, Susan, I think along with uh, everyone else here in the church is you're a person of integrity and commitment. Uh, you have a good heart. Your motives are sincere and pure in trying to serve the Lord. And I think that's what uh, makes you commendable in the eyes of so many different people. I was so excited yesterday when we announced your award to the congregation and everybody not only clapped, but stood up for you. And I thought that was just a, a great sign of appreciation for all that you do for uh, not only our church, but for the larger church as well. So you're a tremendous witness to God's grace, and I want to thank you for that. Well, you're quite welcome. I was overwhelmed by the standing ovation. It's just something that I never expected or never 
desired recognition doesn't drive me. Right. I, I don't care if anyone ever says thank right. you. If that's just not part of my being. The satisfaction I get from what I do is the results of what is happening and, and seeing things happen. And that's what makes you so special, Susan. 